Hi guys, Cassie Bug here with this month's Art Snacks review. As you may have noticed, I've got something a little different going on here as I have a recording happening. So hopefully this video is just as educational and entertaining as the previous month's posts have been. Uh, with that said, you know, let's get right into it and see what we got this month. So in this month's box, we have five products four different brands and two different colors. Thanks. So the product that I'm gonna start with in the box today is the Sumo Grip Mechanical Pencil by Sakura. Sakura's a pretty decent brand, a pretty big brand rather. Um, they're pretty famous for the white jelly rolls a lot of artists use. You may have also heard of Sakura Micron pens. So this Sumo Grip is really enforcing comfort. It's got this big wide barrel, has kind of a triangular shaped grip. I'm not sure if you can tell there or not. And this nice fat twisty eraser. And this guy is big. I mean, it's basically the width of my finger if you can see there all the way around. And granted, I have pretty tiny hands, but I hope my point still stands. Um, this guy holds 0.7 lead, which for me is kind of big. I write anywhere with a 0.3 to a 0.5. Um, but that's also a pretty common lead type, so this sounds like it could be a really great fit for a lot of people. It is comfortable, nice little squishy grip there. Um, personally, the triangular shape of the grip doesn't fit as well for me because I write and draw with two fingers and a thumb, and this is causing my index finger to rest right on the point there, which is a little bit awkward. Um, so I'll try writing and doodling with this guy and see how it goes. While it did still feel a bit bulky for my child-sized hands, the triangular grip did become more comfortable as I began to use it. It's a good all-around pencil, and if you do a lot of sketching, it could be worth grabbing and taking for a test run. So the next little gadget I have here is the Uni Posca PCF 350 Brush Tip Paint Marker. And with a name like that, I'm not really sure if it's an art supply or if it's secretly some kind of artillery weapon. with this month's box did state that this is a water-based ink that it is quick drying and it will not bleed through paper so that's pretty darn cool especially for something that's supposed to be a paint marker um, as you can see it's not loaded just yet it does have what appear to be multiple tiny bristles put together instead of just like one big giant nib so it is definitely some kind of paint brush um, how do I load this thing is that we just pump on the end here and it's supposed to fill up the paint Pump, twist, pump, twist, pump. I think my definition and your definition of pumping are two very different things. Stand by. Mystery solved. So the thing that I thought at the end here was another twisty cap for, I don't know, something. Turns out it was just a lid for another pump. So, we're supposed to lightly shake this to get the ink flowing into this little device here. And then it says to just push here to get the ink into the end of our pen. So let's see if this works for us this time. It's turning pink. Can you see it? I can see it. Oh, I guess it helps if I hold it, you know, not sideways. Ah! Let's move on, shall we? This guy was a bit hard to actually get started with, but once the paint was flowing, it was a lot of fun. It's surprisingly fluid, and the fast drying ink lets you just kind of do your thing without worrying about getting a big glob of ink on your hand. So next up we have two Marabu Graphics Aqua Pens. These are felt tip, double-ended watercolor pens. Um, so they have a nice brush tip on one end here, and then on your other end you have a finer bullet point that you can apply to your wonderful pieces that you'll be creating here. These are highly pigmented, and according to the little menu here, they work best on watercolor paper, which only makes sense. So that's what I'll be demoing these guys in. I have both a red and a black. As stated, they are the only two colors that I got in my box this month. So let's see how these work. 
These were actually really enjoyable to work with. I was very surprised with how fine the bullet tip end of these pens ended up being, and I will second the advice to use these on watercolor paper. I also tried these out on a heavier acrylic paper, and even that didn't have the same results. If you like watercolor paint, definitely think about grabbing one or two or five of these. You won't regret it. Finally, in this box, we have the Tanbo Furunosuke Soft Tip Brush Pen. And if you've been keeping up on these reviews, everyone knows just how much I adore brush pens. Every now and again, there is one that surprises me, so maybe this will be the guy. Uh, it claims that you know that's great for lettering and drawing. It's got water based ink. Um, it also says this tip is very flexible, so it's supposed to help you get nice, controlled, and precise strikes, strokes striking strokes, so we'll see how all that works. I'd be lying if I said I didn't at least kind of enjoy using this pen. The nib is a bit stiffer than other brush pens I've used, so you need to actually use a bit of pressure to thicken your line width, which I really like. It held up to water as well, which makes us a good item to pair with those aquagraphic pens that we got. Despite this limited color palette, I have found something to do for my Art Snacks Challenge this month, which I have actually already sketched out, mostly because I didn't think it'd be super interesting for you guys to sit and watch me sketch, erase, sketch, erase, and I guess see me pull my hair out and scream a few times may get a laugh out of somebody, but it's not very fun for me. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. Hope you enjoy! So after 45 minutes of painting, I discovered that my camera had actually run out of space and didn't catch any of the work that I did on my Art Snacks Challenge piece, which is a major bummer because I was really excited for you guys to see how everything came together. Uh, but in the end, here is my piece for this month, which is everybody's favorite Merc doing what he does best, which is everything, of course. This piece will later be available in my Etsy store if you feel like owning it, because why wouldn't you? So anyway guys, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon for this piece. Um, it was a great experience for me. Hope you enjoyed it as well. Thanks again. Bye!